quickly to attack a sutta i ask you kingsman of the sun great rishi about seclusion and the state of peace how having seen does a bhikkhu attain nibbana not clinging to anything in the world by reflection he should stop the conceit i am the entire root of concept due to proliferation said the blessed one whatever cravings there may be internally he should always train mindfully for their removal whatever one might know whether internally or externally one should not be abstain on that account for that is not called quenching by the good because of this one should not think oneself better nor should be considered oneself inferior or equal being affected in various way one should not persist in positioning oneself it is internally that he should achieve peace a bhikkhu should not seek peace through another for one who is at peace within himself there is nothing taken up much less rejected just as in the middle of the ocean no waves arises but the ocean remains steady so too he should be steady without impasse a bhikkhu should not cause a swelling anywhere the one with opened eyes declared the dhamma he witnessed the removal of obstacles speak about the practice venerable one the pati mokha and also concentration one should not be restless with the eyes one should block the ears against the village gossip one should not be greedy for tastes and one should not take anything in the world as mine when he is touched by a contact a bhikkhu should not lament anywhere he should not long for any state of existence no should he tremble amid fearful condition having obtained food and drink things to eat or clothes to wear he should not hoard them no be agitated if he does not obtain them he should be a meditator not one with restless feet he should refrain from regret he should not be heedless a bhikkhu should dwell amid seats and beds in lodgings where there is little noise he should not overindulge in sleep he should be devoted to wakefulness ardent he should abandon indolence hypocrisy laughing and playfulness sexual intercourse and personal ornamentation he should not employ atharva spells or interpret dreams signs or constellations my follower would not decipher animal cries or practice healing or making women fertile a bhikkhu should not be shaken by blame no should he be elated when praised he should dispel greed and miscellaneous as well as anger and slanderous speech a bhikkhu should not engage in buying and selling he should not do anything that incurs criticism he should not form intimacy in the village he should not address people from a desire for gain a bhikkhu should not be boastful and he should not utter insinuating speech he should not train himself in impudence he should not utter contentious talk he should not be led into false speech nor should he deliberately do anything deceptive because of his way of life his wisdom or his good behavior and observances he should not despise another when provoked 
having heard many words from ascetics who speak profusely. He should not respond to them harshly, for the good do not retaliate. Having understood this Dhamma, investigating, a bhikkhu should always train mindfully. Having known quenching as peace, he should not be heedless in Gautama's teaching. For he is a conqueror who is himself unconquered. He saw the Dhamma as a witness, not by hearsay. Therefore, heedful in the Blessed One's teaching. Always honoring it, one should train in accordance with it.